the office of Academic Asaurus. The deadline for the final summer issue is coming up, so if you're calling about a submission, that's fine. It's cutting it a bit close. Relatedly, we would like to remind everyone that while we appreciate your enthusiasm, it's a little irregular to give presents in lieu of, you know, academic articles and whatnot. Maybe don't? Anyway, leave a message. Thanks. Hi, Don Winters. Hey, it's B. Oh, hey. Why are you calling me on your cell phone? Because I'm standing in Anne's office staring at that painting again. Oh. Is Anne there? I don't know. How do you not know? Is she in her office or is she not in her office? Not. How did you get in if Anne's not there? Door was unlocked, so I guess she's around somewhere. She probably went to buy more of that weird purple sports drink she likes so much. Ah, uh, you mean Gatorade? Yes, weird purple sports drink. Okie doke, so what's up? Has the painting changed since you last looked at it? It has, actually. Wait, what? What do you mean? It's moved. It's moved? How did it move? It's a painting, I don't understand. She means I moved it to the far corner of my office. <laughs> God, I hate you. Both of you. I just got here. Don't blame me. And why exactly are you standing in the middle of my office with Ida on speakerphone? I'm celebrating the increased signal strength that we suddenly seem to have. What? Yeah, check it out. Three whole bars. Whoa, when did that happen? This morning. Don't ask me why. I didn't know we were getting anyone in to fix the shitty dungeon signal. If they would told me, I'd have also requested they look at those computer terminals in study room number four. Are they on the fritz? If you consider being inundated with porn-related viruses synonymous with on the fritz, then yes, they are on the fritz. Yeah. Greeting, fellow colleague. Ah! Oh my god. What the hell, Horatio? God damn it, Henderson. My apologies. I did not realize you had failed to hear my approach. I ensured my footfalls would be quite loud, as I have begun wearing these marvelous new boots. Ooh, I want to see. Wow, yes, you do. Hold on. Pose, Horatio. Uh, do those have pockets on the side? Oh, incoming message. And, whoa! <laughs> Why, yes. I use these pockets to hold exact change for the vending machine. One must have one's daily allotment of almond joys. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Ow. They're fine, Horatio. They, um, really bring out the purple in your tailcoat vest situation. Oh, definitely. Browns and purples always look great together. Very dapper. Great flair. Why, thank you. I just finished sewing new patches on my elbows. If you see here, this is called the Cushing Stitch, and... Why are you here? Oh, yes. Well, I happen to find this... this person wandering around the stacks, and when I asked her business here, she said she was looking for you. Which you? Uh, all of you. All of us? Well... Where is she? I, um... Uh, oh, she appears to be gone. Did you lose her? Oh, my. She was right here. Maybe she... Hello! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> How did you get back there? I did not see you creep by. Well, I'm pretty small. I slip by all sorts of places. Uh... Are you Ida? No, I'm Anne. I'm Ida, over here, on the phone. Oh, I thought you would be down here. For the meeting? Clearly she's not. Also, I'm B. I know. Why do you keep speaking in exclamation points? I'm just so happy to be here. I'm really excited. About what? Do you like my new boots? Oh, yes, very much. Okay, bye, Horatio. Thanks for delivering, um...
Kettle. Kettle Badger. Kettle. It's short for Katira. Katira. It's very nice to meet you, Kettle. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know we were supposed to have a meeting. I could always come downstairs. Oh, yes. That would be wonderful. I have something for all three of you. Okay. Um, give me just a few minutes and I'll be right down. I can take the staircase behind the whale skeleton. It leads almost directly into the stacks. That's not the only place it leads. Uh, okay. So, I think I'll just come to the stacks, though. Aren't those stairs locked? Oh, I broke into them last week. Why? I wanted some of Ida's tea. Was that what happened to... Uh, never mind. I'll be right there. Be careful. Those stairs are even more rotted than the classrooms. I will. Two minutes. Oh, wait, one moment. Uh, okay. Okay, you're good to go. Uh, alrighty, so I'll be there in two shakes of a lamb's tail. What on earth just came out of your mouth? Uh, she hung up on me. What are those? Jesus, I forgot you were still here. Oh, presents for our meeting. Faded lanyards. Sorry, I'm so confused about what meeting you're talking about. Will I be receiving a lanyard? Oh, sorry. These are just for academic thesaurus. And on that note, bye, Horatio. Yeah, the good Samaritan is always the one forgotten in the end. Hey Holy shit, did you run the whole way down? Did you fall through the floor? I can move. Move quickly when I want to. Well, there's quick and then there's teleportation. <sighs> oh, shush. You. Hey, uh, can I have some of your weird purple sports drink? Knock yourself out. Ow, what, B? Thanks. Exclamation point is humming. Hey, uh, is she okay? Kettle? Kachara. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I just got lost in my own head for a sec. It's so twisty and windy, you know? Your head? Sure. Uh -huh. Look, Kettle, what exactly is this meeting we're supposed to be having? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought Dr. Kant would have set it up. Huh. Did we get an email from Emily this morning? No. This is a lovely painting. It's a painting of a black doorway. Oh, not completely black. See? There's definitely something here. You just have to look more closely. I don't want to. I love these kinds of works. There's so much to see if you look in the right places. So many answers. Answers? Kettle, sorry. Who exactly are you? Oh, I'm the new art teacher. We have a new art teacher? What do you teach? Art! Oh my god. Yeah, I get the art part, but Briar University has a whole art department. What specifically will you be teaching? Oh, I'm just standing in for a while. This is worse than talking to you, B. I know, right? Standing in for whom? <gasps> whom! I love that you used whom! <laughs> That's so fun! People these days don't appreciate the proper ways of speaking. I miss the good old days. The good old days. Honey, you can't be more than 25. I'm older than I look. I just love this painting! It's happening. No idea. I'll call Exy after. Oh, you can't call her. She's who I'm standing in for. You're standing in for Exy Enright? Exy's never missed a day in her life. She's a little under the weather. Under the weather. Yes! Very far under. She's that sick? What's wrong with her? Will she be okay? And I hadn't heard anything. Well, I'm supposed to meet with you about this painting. That's what the email was meant to say. I'm so sorry you didn't get it. I mean, we may have gotten it. I didn't check my email. I got eight more requests for recommendations yesterday, all supposedly due tonight. I didn't get anything. Me neither. What are we supposed to talk about with the painting? I already told Emily I'm not putting it in the journal. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, it does make sense. It makes a lot of sense. But you shouldn't put it in your journal. Wait, really? I mean, you're saying what I want to hear, but I'm really confused. <laughs> no need.
me for confusion, but you shouldn't put this in your journal. It's not a good idea. I mean, it definitely doesn't fit with the journal's mission statement. No, it does not. And the journal's printed in black and white anyway? Exactly! It just wouldn't pop. I was under the impression that Emily felt very strongly that this piece should go in the journal. You're telling me she's opposed to it now. Well, as a lover of art, I can tell you that this piece is very admirable. Uh, however, this doorway isn't one that needs to be opened by the pages of your journal. Uh, in fact, I would like to ask if I could borrow it. You want to borrow it? Why do you want to borrow it? I just want to take a closer look at it up in the art room. There's much better light there, and I'm sure I could tell you loads more about this painting and its creator. We know who created it. But you don't. We don't. I mean, technically, I guess that's true. <laughs> don't worry. I'll tell you everything soon. Meanwhile, I brought you a present to make up for me borrowing the painting. These beaded lanyards are presents. <laughs> yes! Here! Uh, this orange one is for you, Beatrice West. Please, call me B. Oh, that's so sweet of you. No, it isn't. Being called Beatrice makes me want to murder someone. <laughs> I know how that feels. Okay, so this blue one is for you and I. Um, thanks. It's very nice. It matches your lipstick. So I see. And then this one is for you, Ida Winters. A lovely purple for a lovely lady. Well, <laughs> thank you. That's so sweet. Aren't you guys going to put them on? <laughs> you can go ahead and replace the lanyards you have now. Sure, in a minute. I can wait. I'll do it later. We'll do it after the meeting, okay? <laughs> Just don't forget. Uh, so you don't mind if I take the painting? I mean, have at it. Only if we can tell Emily it's in your possession when she calls to scream at us. <laughs> sure. Can you lift it all by yourself? You're kind of... Oh, <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> I've got it. Thank you, ladies. I'll be in touch. What in the hell just happened? I have absolutely no idea. You guys, these lanyards are super pretty. Bribery. Why, though? Beats the hell out of me. I can't take this goddamn place anymore. Do either of you want to go day drinking with me? Uh, you know, normally I'd say no, but that's Emily calling. So, we're going off campus for a long lunch? Screw it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, my office is locked, and I have my bag with me. Can I just leave this lanyard in your desk drawer and get it tomorrow? Yeah, it's fine. I'll take it. Take mine, too. I don't really want it. It's weird. You give it to me. All right, let's get out of here. Thesaurus is a bird stuff production in association with the Creeptopolis Creeps. For more information, you can visit our website at academicasaurus.wixsite.com slash home. Or you can check out our Instagram, where we upload weird episode art that's kind of subpar. Our performers are Marina Matlock as Ida Winters, Amanda Funk Hilton as B. West, and Mary O'Reilly as Anne Dye. It also starred Dave Opilka as Horatio Henderson and introduced Ramona Morir as Kettle Badger. Yet again, Marion was responsible for writing and editing this episode. We'll burn her one of these days. The theme music for Academicosaurus is Shake It by Jazar. It's what you're listening to right now, not just in your head. You can find more of his amazing work at betterwithmusic.com. Thank you for listening to Academicosaurus. If you enjoyed our show, please subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes or YouTube, or send us a message on our website, or try some good old semaphore. We'll see you in two weeks for our season finale. In return, check your mailbox tonight. Maybe you'll find a beaded lanyard of your very own.